This tutorial will teach you about partial simulation in storytelling. It is a great feature to allow people to see the changes that can happen within a model as you add new structure to it. So for this tutorial, we are using the baby formula model as the example. I'm in the story that's already been created and I'm on page two because it has a little bit more structure than the first page. To start out with the partial simulation, we're going to drop a graph. You can drop a table as well, but for this, we'll use a graph. We will add the two stocks that are currently available. Oops. And as we are on the interface window, we are going to need to add a run button so people can run the model. So go up and select run on the action. And now we can test this out by going into edit mode up here or experiment mode. And we can run what is only visible on this page. And it'll be in steady state, which won't be that exciting. So let's move down a couple of pages and see how adding variables to the to the model will change this. We can do this two ways. We can repeat the steps that I just did for dropping a graph and the button, or we can go back into edit mode. We can highlight the graph and the run button, and we can copy it. And let's move down to page five or six, and we can paste it here. You can see that I've managed to paste it over some, some work so we can adjust this so it's visible. Now we can go into experiment mode again and see how the dynamics have changed now. You can see things are starting to change. We can go down again. Let's go down to page nine. Go back into edit mode. Drop the graph and table, uh, graph and button, sorry. Move it so you can see the visible structure. Back into experiment mode and run it again. And this is a great thing to add into your models as you start to unfurl them in storytelling. Allows people to really see the dynamics of what's going on with each new variable added.